So we're going to be discussing about endosymbiosis theory. Endo means in, and then symbiosis means living. So we have this ancestral prokaryotic cell, which his name is Bob. Bob is kind of sad. The reason why? It's because he's big. And being big results in being slow and tired. So we still have Bob, who is an ancestral prokaryotic cell. And then he was sad until he met two of his homies, which is Juan and Jesus. Juan makes his own food. Jesus is energetic. So Bob gets his bright idea. He's like, hey, let me go talk to him. Let me go be the, let me go holla at them. So that bright idea is now the start of symbiosis, which now Bob is big, energetic, and makes his own food is because he has Juan and he has Jesus living inside of him, which now kind of you could kind of sim you could kind of guess they're like roommates now, and which results Juan being happy. So Bob, Juan, and Jesus were so good at those three characteristic traits that they became really bored. So being bored resulted in Bob discussing with Juan and Jesus to go find other big Bobs that had a Juan and Jesus to come together and become multicellular which becomes their own form of a village or a posse. So those multicellular posses are found in plants, animals, and humans. That's where your evidence comes from of the symbiosis theory. Each one of these organisms has its own DNA, which is the DNA is derived from Big Bob, Juan, and Jesus, which all come together. And then you might think all that DNA coming into one together wouldn't it leave leftover DNA, which is true. So Big Bob, um, Juan, and Jesus, with that extra DNA, when Big Bob reproduces, it allows those other Big Bobs to make their own food and make their own energy, which reaffirms endosymbiosis theory. So that's endosymbiosis theory in a nutshell.